Hello again and welcome back to our course on Project 2019. We've already looked at opening, saving and closing projects throughout the course, but what I'm going to look at in this section is a couple of additional features related to exporting projects. Now I've got the wedding project here in its version 16. Now if I want to, at any time I can click on the Save button and you can see I have the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar and that will save any changes I've made since the last save under the same project name, so SSI Wedding 16. And as we know, because this works the same across all Microsoft applications, if we wanted to say save this project as a different version or give it a different name, you can do that by going into the Backstage area, so File, and you have a Save As option just here. You can then go through and select a location in which to save your project file. So again, I have various different options listed and yours will probably be different to mine. I could choose to save into OneDrive and I've got two there, one for business and one for personal. I could save into SharePoint, I could save into this PC. So if I wanted to save it to my hard drive, this would be a good option and browse at the bottom will also take me directly into my local drives where I can browse for an appropriate folder to save it into. Now most of the time when you're saving a project file and you can see the file extension down here it says save as type .mpp and if I click that drop down you'll see all of those different file types available. But MPP is the default and MPP is the one that you're going to use the majority of the time. Now, in order to work on a Microsoft Project file, you do need a copy of Microsoft Project on your PC. If, on the other hand, what you want to do is to distribute the information in the file with a reasonable level of detail, but in a form that other people without access to project can look at but they can't edit it, you may want to export it to a PDF file. Now, it's very simple to do, and I'm just going to select a quick save location. So I'm just going to put this on my desktop, and I'm just going to change the Save As Type in the drop-down to PDF and click on Save. And when I click on Save, I'm given some document export options. So I can choose to publish all pages of my project file, or I can make selections between two dates. So I'm going to stick with all. And I can also choose if I want to include any non-printing information, so things like the document properties or any markup that we have. So I'm going to leave all the default options and I'm going to click on OK. And what that will do is it will export my project file to a PDF file. So once I've done that, if I now go to my desktop, which is where I saved this, you can see there I have SSI Wedding 16.pdf. And if I double click to open, there is my project plan in the form of a PDF file. So I'm now free to share that with other people, email it, send it, and nobody can edit it. Now I'm going to close out of there and just show you one more option when it comes to exporting, and that is exporting to an Excel workbook. So again, if we jump back into File and go down to Save As, again I'm going to jump into Browse and I'm going to select that desktop location again, and this time I'm going to save it as an Excel workbook and click Save and you'll see it brings up the export wizard. Now the export wizard will basically guide you through the process of exporting your project file out into Excel and I'm not going to run through every single stage of this wizard, you can go through it if that's something that you need to do, but just note here it says this wizard automatically maps fields in project to the appropriate export format and then allows you to verify or edit the results. So you can go through and do that and I'll just click on next and the next step is to select the data. Now I don't have data currently in a project Excel template so I would use selected data and then work my way through the rest of the steps of that export wizard. Now amongst the other save as options that we have you can save as uh, tab delimited text files, 
You can save as a CSV, comma, delimited. You can save as an XML format and lots of other different formats in here. And I'm not going to demonstrate any of these on this course, but if you're familiar with those formats, I do suggest you give them a try. So that's the end on our review of the other export options that you have within Project 2019. That's the end of this section. Please join me in the next one.